Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Box and in this video I'm going to be showing you through this colouring book and it's called Colouring Europe Bala Italia a colouring book tour of the world capital of romance. Experience Italy's nostalgic town squares, age old fountains and delicious gelato as if you were actually there while enjoying hours of colouring fun. Lose yourself in the scenic beauty of Florence, Rome and Venice with over 60 evocative illustrations of Italian monuments, culture and cuisine. This colouring book travel log takes you on an artistic vacation to what is perhaps the most romantic destination in the world offering hours of relaxation and travel inspiration so i saw these boots on youtube and then went to buy them all because this is part of a colouring europe series which is london france greece croatia and Ital italy and what i really like about these books is um the images are single-sided and on one side it, it tells you a little facts about the image and how it relates to the country. So let's head straight to the flip through and learn more about Italy. This is the cover for Bella Italia. And this is the back published by Waves of Colour and it's that thick and the pages are nice heavyweight pages and they're printed single sided so you can use your markers or paints. The illustrations are by Lee L. Sun. Favourite cafe Find your favourite cafe and relax in it. Let it fill your soul. Packing for the trip. Planning and anticipation are an important part of the experience. Don't forget to prepare for the unexpected. Ponte Vecchio, Florence. A famous painting of this bridge depicts a meeting between Dante Alighieri and Beatrice Portinari. Central Market, Florence. Acclimate yourself to the city's bustle at the Central Market. Dessert, Gelato. This Italian ice cream's name comes from the Latin for frozen. This is a rich, colourful treat. Restaurant, Florence. Here, olives and olive oil are more flavourful than any you've ever tasted. 500 year old window. You can tell its age by the shape of the arch. A fruit and wine basket. The bounty of the Mediterranean made into a beautiful gift basket. The Medici family crest, Florence. Patrons of the Renaissance, this family fostered a grand era of art and humanism. Desserts from a cafe. Whether it's a simple biscotti or one of these elaborate pastries, indulge yourself in an Italian treat. Plazzal Michelangelo, Florence. Take a break in this small plaza as you watch the sunset paint the town. Flowers and Florence. Florence is a flower of a city. We experience it with all of our senses. Margarita Pizza. Red tomatoes, white mozzarella and green basil for the Italian flag. It's named after 19th century Queen Consort Margarita. Pinocchio. The classic tale of a puppet who longed to be a real boy 
was written by Carlo Collodi, a native of Florence. Dessert, cannoli and cappuccino. Cappuccino takes its name from the Capuchin friars as it is the same colour as their robes. Cathedral di Santa Maria del Fiore, Florence. Nicknamed Il Duomo, it dominates the Florence skyline and visitors' hearts. Gondola, Venice. Historically, the principal mode of transport, the gondola remains the best way to see the city. Food, spaghetti. This versatile pasta can be simple comfort food or an unforgettable meal. Masks, Venice. Carnival in Venice is famous for its beautiful elaborate masks. A city on water, Venice. Made up of 118 islands connected by more than 400 bridges. This is a city where people walk on water. Plaza San Marco, Venice. This historic meeting place is referred to simply as the Piazza. It is a central part of Venetian life. A dessert cafe. A place to live in the moment and feed the whims of our hearts and taste buds. A selection of pasta shapes. The near infinite variety of shapes and sizes of pasta is a feast for the senses. Venice Biennial Exhibition Hall, Venice. This international art festival is held in odd numbered years. It has inspired many biennial festivals worldwide. The foundation myth of Rome, Romulus and Remus. Raised by a wolf after they were abandoned on the banks of the Tiber, Romulus and Remus are the mythical founders of Rome. Fashion Milan. Milan ranks with Paris, New York and London on the international fashion stage. Dessert Tiramisu. Its name means pick me up. A single bite of this layered delight has that effect. Flower line streets. You don't know the name of the street but it will remain in your heart long after you leave. Dessert Espresso. This intense coffee drink will energise you after the day's activity. Plaza del Campo Siena. This medieval square is a great spot to take a break and enjoy the sun. Chianti Wine Pecorino Romano Cheese Tuscany. The straw covering fiasco is traditional for Chianti wines. It stabilises the bottle's base and the straw protects the glass in transport. Prosciutto. This dry cured ham is sliced thin for eating. It can take up to two years to cure. A village clinging to the hillside, Assisi. This town is the birthplace of St Francis and St Clare. Basilica Papali di San Francesco Assisi. The mother church of the Franciscan order. This is an important pilgrimage site in Italy. Mediterranean fruits. Fruit grown in the Mediterranean sun just seems more colourful. Casa di Giulietta via Verona. This house dates back to the 13th century and was owned by the Del Capello family. It is believed to be the inspiration for the Capulets in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Food Sandwich Featuring layers of meats, cheese and vegetables, this portable meal will refresh you so you can continue your adventures. Leaning Tower of Pisa Indulge in a whimsical photo to commemorate your visit to this world famous tower.
Matrani, Amalfi Coast. The smallest community in Italy nestles along the coast, dense with history. Dessert, gelato and fruit. Fruit and gelato complement each other, each enhancing the other's flavour. Positano, Amalfi Coast. Positano bites deep. It is a dream place that isn't quite real when you are there and becomes beckoningly real after you have gone. John Steinbeck. Fruit Market. Thanks to the Mediterranean climate, fruit is abundant and delicious. The Amalfi Coast. Coastal towns adorn southern Italy like scattered jewels. A verdant garden. The rich soil and warm climate make for bountiful harvests. Truly, Alberabolo. Alberabolo. These limestone homes seem to belong to a fairy tale world rather than our own. Pattern from a fire screen. Even a utilitarian object like a fire screen can be beautiful in the birthplace of the Renaissance. Restaurant entrance. Even the entrance to a restaurant bespeaks a rich history and a fine meal. Lake Como. Como. This glacial lake has been has long been a retreat location for the wealthy and powerful. As you take in the beauty of the site, you understand why. Roman soldiers at the Pantheon, Rome. The past and the present and a picture to preserve it for the future. Fontana della Barcaccia, Rome. Although it's now walled, the Tiber often used to flood the square. This fountain is modelled after a boat that was stranded during particularly bad flood. Flowers and trees, Rome. Let your feet guide you where they will through the tree-lined streets adorned with flowers. Food, risotto. This creamy rice dish refreshes the exhausted traveller's body and soul. La Bocca della Verita, Basilica di Santa Maria in Cosmodin, Rome. It's believed that if you put your hand in its mouth and tell a lie, it will bite your hand off. Be careful. A street near Piazza Navona, Rome. Everywhere you look are cathedrals and historic sites. Is it even possible to see them all? Fontana di Trevi, Rome. Transfer the wish of your heart into a tiny coin and toss it in the water. Here's hoping it comes true. A pillar decoration. Santa Costanza Church, Rome. No spot is overlooked for beautiful embellishment. Why leave it bare when it could be beautiful? Triton, Trevi Fountain, Rome. He uses his conch as a horn to command the waves. The environs of the Trevi Fountain, Rome. This 18th century fountain is built at the end of an ancient Roman aqueduct. Al fresco dining. Squeeze in one last meal under the Italian sun. Piazza Navona, Rome. The fountain provides a burbling backdrop to the bustle of this square. Basilica Papale di San Pietro, Vatican City. Because of its size, most papal liturgies and ceremonies take place here in St. Peter's Basilica. Colosseum, Rome. The largest amphitheatre ever built, it remains impressive, even as it shows the passage of time. Artists at the Piazza Navona, Rome. Art is not a handicraft, 
it is the transmission of feeling the artist has experienced. Theo Tolstoy. That's the end of the book. See, there's the information about the book. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Yay!